What is up you guys, today we're back with another great film, and today's movie begins by focusing on Tommy, a leader of the Spanish army, ready to invade a temple. One of his men mentions to Tommy that they might be headed toward a trap and he agrees. They make their way through the thick jungle when suddenly a wooden barrier separates his army. The rest of his men with him start to retreat, but Tommy holds his ground. He watches as his men are spread down all around him, and filled with utter loyalty to his queen, Tommy charges toward his enemies and starts cutting them down. Although he fights bravely, he's overwhelmed and dragged toward the temple. The savage soldiers close the only way out and drive to head up the stairs of the temple. Tommy makes it to the top and sees the priest standing by the edge of the door. The priest raises his flaming sword and approaches him while reciting the legend of his people. He tells Tommy that the first father sacrificed himself to protect the tree of life and he threatens him that he will experience the same fate if he enters. Tommy charges toward the priest, but he gets decapitated. Tommy screams and awakens from his meditation in his glass dome biosphere where he travels through space and tends to a large tree. Tommy comforts the tree and then takes a tiny piece of the bark and eats it. As he sits and thinks, Izzy appears and asks him to take a walk with her. Annoyed, he tells her that he could not and she disappears once again. Later, Tommy lights a fire and prepares his ink so he can tattoo himself. After finishing, he goes down to the pond to watch his hand and bandages the new tattoo when Izzy appears again and she whispers to him that he needs to finish it. Tormented by her constant appearance, Tommy yells out for her to leave him alone and that he doesn't know how it all ends. He prepares himself for another meditation and is transported to a different time and place. In his office, Tommy is approached by his wife Izzy who wants him to come to take a walk with her because it's the day of the first snow. Tommy dismisses her by telling her that his co-workers are waiting for him, then a few minutes later, Tommy realizes that the way he treated his wife was bad and he tries to follow her but he's interrupted by a co-worker. He's called up to surgery because Anthony thinks that their patient, which is a monkey they've been performing trials on, has stable vials. In the operation room, as Thomas and the staff get ready to operate, Tommy is informed that the suppressors used to fight the patient's cancer were not working as intended. Hearing this, he realizes that he's unable to save his patient and he leaves the room. As he sits on the other side of the OR, he remembers medical research that they've been doing the year before. Tom was working on a cure using sand samples on a tree found through exploration in Guatemala, which was being tested for medical use for degenerative brain diseases. They then use the extractions and stabilize the monkey. After the surgery, Tommy is chastised by Lillian for using an untested substance to treat the animal. She tells him that he's become erratic and that he should go home and spend some time with Izzy, his wife, who's dying from cancer. Tommy then goes on to say to Lillian that he's actually doing this for his wife, Izzy. He goes home and finds his wife sitting on their roof, and she tells him that she's stargazing and asks him to join her. She tells him the book she was writing was about a spiritual place the Mayans believed souls went to to be reborn. He asks her when he could read the book, but she becomes melancholic, and Tommy looks down and sees her bare feet and decides that they should go in. In the bathroom, Tommy watches Izzy and realizes that she started losing sensation in her body due to her disease. Izzy panics and tells him that she's been feeling that way for a while now and that she feels a lot different. He calls Izzy's doctor and makes an appointment, and Izzy brings Tommy her book and tells him that she wants him to start it. While conversing, Tommy gets a call from Tony who tells him that Donovan, their monkey patient, seems to be doing a lot better and to come to the hospital immediately. He heads to the hospital and his team shows him Donovan who seems perfectly healthy and the team explained that they tested him and that Donovan was showing an increase in neural activity but there was no change in his tumor. Irritated by the fact that the tumor hasn't shrunk, Tommy tells his team to prepare the next subject so they can continue the experiment. At home, after putting Izzy to sleep, he starts her book which she named The Fountain and the book begins as the Inquisitor surrounds the Spanish Queen. Thomas, a character based on Tommy, is informed that his queen is in danger by one of the guards. He's called by the queen where he kneels and asks for forgiveness for failing Spain, and the queen, who is based on the character of Izzy, admires his loyalty but tells him that going after the Inquisitor was pointless. The queen then tells Thomas that she has a plan and calls upon Father Avila. Once the three were alone, the queen tells Thomas that the real reason that the Inquisitor is against her crown was that Father Avila had found the secret to free all of mankind. The queen tells him that she started looking for it, but the inquisitor feared it, which is why he seeks to destroy her. Father Avila shows Thomas a dagger and tells him that he found it in the hands of a dead Mayan priest, and the dagger had a map on it that would lead him to the Tree of Life. The queen then orders Thomas to find the Tree of Life and save Spain. Not realizing that he's passed out while reading the book, Tommy wakes up to a letter from his wife telling him that she'd gone to the museum. He goes there and finds her looking at a Mayan book, and while they're talking, Izzy collapses. He takes her to the hospital where her doctor confirms their fear that she was going to die very soon. Tommy goes back to his lab where he finds Lillian and his team checking Donovan, who'd shown incredible
incredible growth in his brain function. But Tommy gets upset that they've obstructed his research and asks them to leave. In private, Lillian yells at Tommy because he's abandoned the promising results Donovan was showing. He tells her that Izzy has had another seizure and that she could die at any moment. And Lillian responds by saying that he should go spend some time with his dying wife. He goes to see his wife at the hospital and finds Lillian next to her bed and when she sees Tommy, she leaves so they can be alone. Tommy had brought her the manuscript for her book in case she wanted to work and she tells him that it's almost done except for the last chapter and she asks him to finish it. When he objects, she tells him about the Mayan guide for her trip. She tells him that he didn't believe his father had died so he planted a seed on his grave and felt like his father was part of the tree. She goes on to say that she wanted to be buried on a farm and as Izzy sleeps on the hospital bed, Tommy continues to read her book. He is then distracted by the beeping of the machines attached to Izzy and he tries to revive her but the other doctor rush him out because they wanted to take over. While he waits to hear from the doctors, Lillian approaches him excited to give him the news. She tells him that Donovan's tumor was starting to shrink and that the disease was cured. Then Tommy rushes back to Izzy's room but finds that she's already passed. He fights off the doctors so he can resuscitate her but to no avail. Next we see Tommy and all of Izzy's loved ones gathered for her burial and Lillian gives a short speech about Izzy but Tommy was unable to stand it so he leaves. She tries to stop him but he tells her that death is only a disease and that he would find a cure for it. In his home, a devastated Tommy trashes his bedroom, then accidentally he spills the ink Izzy used to write her book. He uses it to tattoo a shape of a ring on his finger in the memory of his now departed wife. The next day, Tommy heads to the office and continues his research. His worried team comes to check up on him and he tells them that he's okay and asks them to bring all of the information that they have on the tree that they've been using to treat Donovan. In his mind, he keeps imagining the characters of Izzy's book and how the queen had asked him to deliver Spain from their enemies. But for Tommy, death had become the enemy and he set Sal to defeat it. He imagines all the moments he had with his wife and all the moments that he missed with her while trying to save her life. He remembers all the stories that she told him about life coming from death and as he remembers this, we can see his mind transcend and he is lifted from the sphere that he's been trapped in while trying to save his wife. He constructs the character Thomas in his mind and how Izzy wanted the book to end. The movie then takes us back to when it started and Thomas has been defeated by the Mayan priest. This time, Thomas's belief had been elevated, therefore the priest was willing to let him pass by allowing him to slit his throat. He makes it through the small doorway and finds the Tree of Life surrounded by a small puddle. He runs toward it and drenches himself in the water, making his way through. He stabs the tree until he sees the sap dropping down from it and as he wipes the sap from the tree, a drop falls on the ground and a fresh flower sprouts from the earth. He then rubs the sap on the wound on his abdomen and watches it heal instantly. He then drinks some more of the sap and feels the power inside of him and assuming that he's fulfilled his promise, he tries to put on the ring that his queen had given him. Suddenly, he starts feeling intense pain transpire throughout his entire body. He feels his body ripple and sees a flower sprout from the closed wound of his abdomen. He tries to rip it out but the plant grew all over and inside of him until he was fully covered. After the tombstone had been properly placed on Izzy's grave, Tommy goes to visit her and he kneels by her graveyard and weeps, saying his final goodbyes after finishing writing her book. And this is how the movie comes to an end. I hope you guys enjoyed this recap. Make sure to leave me a like, leave me a comment, and most of all, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much and I promise to see you on my next recap. Bye!